and even uh, medicine. So we really request the government today, which we all of us have been in 2013, and 2017. So we requested the President of the President, uh, CS, Matthias, and the uh, police to so really assist us. Number three is about the post operation. Uh, last week, part one, uh, Matthias went to Nakuru, met the uh, security apparatus, and they discussed something which was good to us, but they never acted on. Uh, and this one was operation. We want to finish the operation. We don't want. We need a serious disarmament, and we need those people to go out in Mutungui, Guad, and Baringo, yes. Baringo, uh, Baringo South, yes. because they have to go right and Baringo North, because they have invaded our land uh, like 100 kilometers from their territory. We need those people to go back. Number two, we also need the bottom line. The bottom line of this thing is peace. Yes. We need peace in Bahrain. We are tired of Bahrain, our friends, our classmates, our friend, our brothers. Now we will be having a fundraising today in Muchongoy to, to party more than eight eight members of our, our community. And again, we will be having on Saturday in Kabel. In Kabel, we will be having uh, a memorial service for the eight members of our community. How many people do the government want to die so that they will act upon? I am saying this with a lot of pain. Too. My generation, the Nyongi, the Nyongi generation, are wiped up, up by, by the bandits. And I want to request the government of the day, kindly do something. I have written four letters. To Nigeria Minister, to IG Jambai, and to the Chairman of the House of the House, and they have been supported. Some of them supported one, but not all the letters. We are tired of seeing a generation die. We are tired of seeing capable men who have potential in the future to change this country die. We are tired of also seeing our mothers cry. We are tired of seeing our brothers and sisters. We are tired of attending several fundraisers for our young people who have died. This generation needs leadership, but we have we have a failed leadership. Let us be honest. And we surrendered our sovereignty and our monopoly to engage in any kind of violence in this country in 1963 to this government. We are giving trust to this government to acquire military equipment to protect us. They take this military equipment to Somalia, to Sierra Leone and everything. They go take away and uh, take a whole Al-Shabaab, a whole militia, and bring it down and bring a uh, peaceful nation in Somalia. But we are only talking of one constituency called Tiasi. They cannot even handle it as a, as, a, as a government. Why are we going to die in our own country? Why should they go and uh, do uh, do peace, whatever, in other countries, and we are dying. Our children are dying. We are mothers. We are crying. We surrender the monopoly to engage in violence to you. But if you do not act, we are telling you we are tired. We will go up in arms. We will secure those arms, and we will protect ourselves. We have a right to live as the people of Baringo. Can you give us that at least? Uh, talking about the protest, initially to go to Mepanga, we have a very peaceful protest, a very peaceful one, not to disturb anything along, along the roads. We were planning 
atijasimamisha biashara yoyote atija iba maduka za watu ama atijengilia maduka za wao wenyewe atujarusha mawe yote we just walk along the streets this is it Tiagas. We are we are tumekuwa tiagas. And it's only because we are crying for the sake of our people. Tunakuja Nairobi just because our people from Baringo hawezi fika hapa. I feel like crying by the way. Hawezi fika hapa. They cannot come all of them to express to express, to express their pain. But here we are. But hii ndio tumepata. Look at it. Angalia kila mtu ndio tumepata. Very peaceful. Matiangi look at this. Very peaceful people. Atujasimamisha biashara ya mtu yote. Very peaceful people. Tumetaka tu tusikizwe kama watu wa Baringo. Tumetaka tu tusikizwe kama watu tunauliwa. Tunataka tu kusikizwa kama watoto wetu, our sisters wako shule. Umesikia juzi exams were disrupted. Azikuendelea vizuri. Who on earth anaenda shule geni for instance and here by school because your former school imekuwa imekuwa attack na the band when they now next school yenye ujakuwa na kiu ujakuwa for the rest of years we expect to have your national examinations there where utakuwa maybe either when the campus or go to better high schools you will be in fear and of course when you are in fear you are in class with unasikiza gunshots mahali how do you have peace our parents are working at home like we are not hatuko we are not in peace tuko nairobi but we don't know what's going on at home look at us this is tear gas na tumesema tu we tunataka kusikizwa we want eh operations in Baringo County. Imekuwa tu kwa only 5 minutes. Police wamejaa barabara both sides. Tia gas in us. Na How I wish. How I wish. How I wish the same energy. The same energy. Umetumia pale kutia gas. Umepeleka Baringo. Hakuna There is a person ameuliwa kwa the Osif the RD camp because how is this idea just near the RD camp how is police how is this how is this idea nini ni by our team people hadi na tusemeka by the way you can look at me because i'm in pain i'm in pain you cannot hear that in the pay in the pay in the name of i'm taking to protest it's our rights It's our right as Baringo It's a constitutional right. We protest. Kama tufanyiwe vile tunafanya, tunataka we protest and we don't need it. Like I just is your guy. I want to address the government My name is Kibet Kitu. I come from Baringo South, Kitungoi Wa, specific. Now to address the government of Kenya. See a need of care. We send the request of the people of Baringo County at large. These are people of the Agast for holding a peaceful demonstration seeking for government intervention. This is not right at all. I want to hug the government. The way they reacted to the insecurity in Laikipia is the way they should do in Baringo. Yes. We are not the children of lesser mothers. Yes. We are not. And I want to ask the president, the people of Laikipia voted for you the way the people of Baringo voted for you to a man. Why are you treating us like the, like people of lesser gods? Kindly the president, your people are crying, children are crying, mothers are crying, people are displaced. People are killed, they are maimed each day by one community. Known to the government, they make promises each and every day that they are going to act. When are they acting? So how, how many people should be killed so that they can act? The, the Minister for Interior, the CS Matiangi, has never stepped in Baringo. Never. He, has, he, went, he went to Laikipia for almost four times. He has Can never stepped in Baringo, even, even for a day. We call on our leaders. We call on our Senator Gideon Moy. You are going round to an extent of even protecting the peace of the South Sudanese. When your people are bleeding, your people in Baringo are bleeding, you are going making power brokering. What are you telling us? We are calling on Senator Gideon Moy. Please, please, the people of Baringo elected you. Can you be with the people? Talk to the president the way you talk to him about Azimio. Yes. yes.
there will be no Azimio with no peace yes. in Baringo. No election, no, no peace, no election. No campaign in Baringo. We are making that declaration as the youth of Baringo. No For all leaders. For all the leaders. So no peace, no election. No peace, no election. And the, the government should take this seriously. My name is Anna Fumusoto, and I'm very bitter for what has happened to me. How can you send 10 lorries to attack only 10 people, and there are 100, there are 100 of bandits in the ring? I'm telling you, though, the next time we come to Nairobi, we come with coffins and the dead bodies, and we leave them here in the office of the bread, so that you do what you want to do. Because really, if the president can't address this, we can't talk about it. Matiangi, we can't talk about it, but you can just come and talk about one woman and leave eight dead bodies. We are demanding. So all you are saying is that since the decision towards all this is made in the office of the new Nairobi, our protest from now to the end of the will happen in Barim. And the next time we are coming, we are coming with the bullshit and the dead bodies so that we feel the point that the pain that we are going that we are going through. It's so unfortunate that when we wake up every morning and see the graves of our mothers and sisters and our brothers, we see someone in office who has just meant to do his job. I mean, right now one of us has been arrested. Uh, there is a mega burial on Saturday, whereby about eight people will be buried, and the government will sell it. It's so unfortunate that those mothers are crying because someone somewhere is being paid by the government to support them. But us, we have been tear gassed and we followed the legal procedure. It is because they know they are failed. They are in that office and they can't do anything. So we are so painful and we are coming this time round even with no letter, with no anything. Because it's, it's true that you are not going to accept that letter. You are going to decline it anyway. So we are going to work. And if it means you better kill us in Nairobi than kill us at home. We can't run away at home and run away at Nairobi. And this is not you playing with Russia. This is Ken. And Baringo is Ken. God bless you. Yamusha, 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 Examinations for KCP was taking place. So our plea to the government is that they should mark those examinations with special interest. Yes, because those people were the, the environment was not so conducive. So the bankers of KCP should mark the KCP and KCSC in Baringo South should mark the examination with special interest. Because the Constitution of Kenya says the superiority of the people is their interest. And the constitution is also framed. And Article 37 of the Constitution says we have the right to pick it. We have the right to pick it to the modest street. So our, our, my message is the, the markers of KCPE, KCC examinations, should mark the examination with special interest because those people were not in their environment. All right. Thank you. Thank you. No, maybe.